recording the album. Update two. Update two. Update two. We're doing a line and then it's my book. Oh, sorry. We're just doing a line and just charging right now. Um, can't We decided pretty early on that we wanted to go with Zach and Kenneth, who uh, did our first album, Lesson Romantics, um, just because it felt very comfortable with them. It's a big cap. It's a big boy. Say hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Um, yeah, we went, we went straight up from the end of riding an alligator point, um, straight up to Atlanta, up to Alpharetta, and then recorded the album there. Spent two months, uh, first two weeks were pre-production, and the rest of it was tracking the album. But then, in between, uh, we actually took a break, uh, and went to, did Soundwave in Australia for two weeks. Yeah, right in the middle of it. Came back and finished, um, so I think at that point we had finished uh, pre-production and then we had tracked the drums and st some of the bass whenever we left. Uh. And, and, and I don't know what the word is on the on the second part, but that same spot the is the last thing, for the second half. Okay. So I, I, don't think he's, I don't think he's left. The word it'd be ju the word just. Yeah. 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 Or, yeah. There's something that. The reason it doesn't work so well is because I think how much that note's being played and I'm playing. You know what I mean? The half step. That's why you probably didn't like that chord. Yeah, sound wave. Pre pre production, just being the time spent with our, you know, songs as complete as we had them, um, which was pretty, pretty far along for most all the tracks that we could go in and work with the producers to see what their ideas might be, uh, mostly just for structuring and uh, but not for the songs. And uh, that was all done in a three-story house where the studio is just set up in the in basically the bottom floor basement. One other thing you could, that, that was perfect. I, I, you didn't do the just accent, but besides that, that was perfect. So we didn't really leave the studio for that whole time, um, which was, I think, a great way to do it. Fun. We could spend a lot of time um, after the sessions, during the day, uh, at night, going back on the tracks, uh, coming up with more ideas on top of what we had already uh, created. Yeah, absolutely. I think living at the studio was uh, really nice. The same way that, you know, living at Alligator Point for that month was really nice for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it's bumming you out that the first one is the only one of that four where it lands in that one spot? No, no, that doesn't really bump. No, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it being that way. I'm oh. fine with it doing the B, the, 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 the chorus yeah. where we're doing it now, and then the, the, the double D. The I'm, I'm fine. I'm let's, fine with that. that. So, like we said a second ago, we tracked the majority of the drums and bass before we went to Australia. Now, while we were in Australia, Derek was trying to come up with the rest of the lyrics for some of the songs. So a lot of it, a lot of the things we were doing, what we were doing like on the spot, like coming up with a couple of days before, like sort of finalizing all of the ideas um, as we were you know, recording them at the same time. I'm gonna last kill when you do this at least first. Oh, come on, kill him. Oh, it's a battle. It's a battle to the death. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, it's, you know, yeah, we've always, we've never gone into the studio with a completely 100% finished, you know, uh, idea uh, before we go in. There's always some songs that are more finished than others, and parts that still will have lyrics or whatever. But yeah, that's. Right when they, like, say the, like, um. The people singing, like, the same thing. Like, same the, uh. You know, the, 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 the newest chorus it's, version. But it's more of right. like. Uh -huh. You, you uh, it, it does the first way, the be, way uh, that uh, the non typical thing, right? You know what I mean? Because that one. Second half mm -hmm. is the one you uh, said, oh, that's. We kind of do that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then it goes to the double D. Where in the morning, Brooks would track up until, like, probably we had lunch or something. And then after that, Derek would, would come in and track his leads. And we did that, I guess, for Derek's voice, so that you know Derek has has time for his voice to warm up. 
so he's not, you know, so his voice isn't rough in the morning. Or slosh, open, hi hat, and then when the pre chorus comes, you still do. You should. Open the slosh, hi hat, yeah. So no, no Lars Ulrich. One thing that, one thing that. Uh, we brought um, some people in to do live strings. Our friend Seth, man, Zach played uh, viola, and then for uh, for cello we had uh, one of Zach's friends come in and play cello. And we had. Uh, was that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we had a small choir come in and do some choir stuff. Uh, Kenneth played trumpet on a part, and Kenneth doesn't know how to play trumpet. He bought one like two days before and was just trying to learn how to play. It works with bows, I could be completely wrong because I don't sing. But I still, in the bridge, like hearing. Not, yeah, yeah. But you should have a bridge melody, right? So you go to the weird chord. Right now, right now it's going. But I want it to go. Like it does before the second chorus. You know, so, or maybe it goes there instead, but that, that half step does still work with the vocal pattern. Where'd you do the piano? Uh, I tracked the, most of the piano stuff at the same studio that we tracked the drums. We tracked the drums at a different place, uh, Tree Sound, um, which is where we tracked our first album, Lesser Romantics. With the